Welcome back in. Well, guess what? You have the chance to help an endangered species. Jessica Greiser with the Lucas Soil and Water District is here to explain. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. So I'm, I'm learning a lot about monarch butterflies mm -hmm. and habitats and the fact that we're losing them and they're losing some of their habitat, right? What's happening? Yes. So um, lots of pollinators, specifically the monarch butterfly, have been declining in their populations. Um, there's a lot of reasons, but a lot of it is just habitat loss. So um, what they need are native plants, and a lot of times, you know, areas are being converted into either turf grass or developed areas. So they're losing that habitat, and therefore then the populations decline. But they're pollinators. We need them. Exactly, you yes. Know, it's, it's super important to our whole ecosystem. Exactly, yes. They say one out of every three bites of food is um, responsible from a pollinator. So we need pollinators, and um, so it's you know doing our part to put that habitat back on the land for them. So a very important part of the habitat for a monarch butterfly, I'm learning, is the milkweed. Yes. So, what is that? So milkweed is a, a plant, mm -hmm. and there's a couple different native varieties, but the monarch butterfly specifically will only lay its eggs on um, milkweed plants, and then the caterpillars then only eat the milkweed leaves in order to grow, and then um, and when they become butterflies, they'll return back. It's, it's this amazing cycle that they have, um, but the milkweed is an incredibly important part of their life cycle. Whether we knew it or not, we learned a little bit about it with a very hungry caterpillar, maybe, didn't yes. we? <laughs> yeah, exactly. The children's book. So what you're asking for is the community to get involved in this effort to help bolster this habitat for monarch butterflies. What are we asking folks to do? Yes, so we are a drop-off site for um, an initiative that's put on by, it's a statewide agency called um, Ohio Pollinator Habitat Initiative. and. Um, our collection site, we're asking folks if they have milkweed on their properties to um, check out the pods and if they're ready, which means they're dry and kind of gray, greenish brown, um, and the seeds are like a dark brown color, they're ready to be harvested. So you can take some of the pods off of the plant and then bring them to our office. And what the agency will do is um, eventually separate those seeds and then put them back out um, into the communities to create more habitat. Uh -huh. So we're looking at some visuals here to give you an idea of what we're talking about, what the plants look like, what the pods look like, what you should be looking for when they're ready and then the drop-off location where are you all located so we're located off of hill avenue in toledo um, the address is 3350 if you're familiar with where lot industries is okay. we're actually in um, one corner of that building okay so how long is this going on are, are we kind of in that like harvest season then yeah so it, it takes a little while for the pods to get to that point where they can be harvested but um, the drop-off in the collection is the month of October so um, the drop-off is until the 31st so people have a few more days mm -hmm. to, to bring them to our office and then um, Ohio Department of Natural Resources will come and pick up the pods and then they'll go off and get separated. And then what, what is that process like then? Do they do that maybe in the spring where they plant? Like what is, what is that whole process? Like? Yeah, so over winter they will um, separate the seeds mm -hmm. and then you can opt to get some of the seeds back to distribute out at community events. So um, we will get some of the seeds back and we'll hand them out next spring and summer. And then the ideal time to plant milkweed is the fall. So, okay, so right around this time. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, it, but it does. It takes it takes a little while for yeah. to get that process going and, and to see that all the way through. Mm -hmm. So, if you have uh, milkweed at home, you know now's the time to check for that. But maybe somebody is like, I didn't know about all of this, and I really want to get involved. I mean, can you? Where can you find a, a milkweed plant? <laughs> so what's really cool is there's there's a lot of uh, interest in native plants in our area, and it's continuing to grow. But um, lots of different places, including ourselves, we have plant sales in the spring and in the fall, um, where one of the plants that we will sell is milkweed. And like I said, there's several different varieties, um, swamp milkweed, butterfly milkweed, all the all those are important for the monarch butterfly and so that's the first step is if you don't have seed you can plant the plants and then um, you know as they grow and mature mm -hmm. you can watch the butterflies come Wow! Yeah. how wonderful would that be to just kind of have that little prairie right there yes in, in on your personal property and as you said you have those native plant sales mm -hmm. for, to where you can get get yourself started but in the meantime if you're just hearing this and you're like oh I have some milkweed you know uh, look at those pods and get them dropped off because you at this 
this point, we only have a few more days to do that, right? Yeah, yep, the 31st is mm -hmm. the last day. So um, the bins are right outside our office door. We don't have to be open, so you can bring them on the weekend if that works for you. And although but today's Monday. So I guess that we're out of work. time. Yeah, you have to have it by Thursday. <laughs> yeah, by yeah. Thursday. But in the yeah. evening, maybe you're uh, on your way home from right, work exactly. or something like that. You can toss yeah. them in those in those collection sites and help contribute to that habitat, which is super important for yep. our ecosystem. Thank you so much for being here to explain Thank all you. this to us. Very, very interesting. Thank you.